Um, I would say my biggest takeaway is just, um, I think I needed a confidence boost, uh, um, honestly. And so just being in a group of people who make me feel like we're all going through the same thing and that I'm not a special person that is going through something else on my own. And that I also, I also found that I had some of the tools that I needed, but piecing them all together was the key that I needed to move forward. Mm. Where do you feel like you had the biggest like shifts for you? Was it more tangibly in your business or was it just on more of a personal level around certain things? Like where, what area of your life do you feel like was affected the most? Uh, I think, I, well, right now my personal business, my personal, uh, my personal family, I think ha- my, my personal side has affected the most just looking for or being more aware of what is coming to me. And I know that my business will benefit later Mm -hmm. because for me, I needed to go all in in this and my business will be able, I'll be able to go all in in my business now that my mind is clear. Yeah. That's my, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, cool. And then out of all of the tools, you know, there was lectures and then there was hypnosis and then there was para and then there's the primer book, which, which of those aspects or any of the homework that you did, do you, did you love the most? Um, I will for my future self love para. Mm. Uh, I, I have still to figure it out in the moment, but I'm using it a lot in my conversations that I would, that have become routine conversations and routine reactions. And so really like I've always known to pause, but putting the other words into play really are so powerful. And, and the, the tool of coming back to it and saying, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to do this better now and here's how, here's how I'm going to do that better so I, I I really like para um I'm excited to see where my primer book goes and um and like shift into it every day really yeah. um the hypno I did like the hypnosis it was hard honestly it was hard for me to figure out in my day. And I said to my husband, I was like, I need to do, I said it was meditation to him. I said, I I need to do my meditation. And I, and I'm home from nine until three o'clock. And I'm like, and I don't have time during the day. He's like, I don't get it. So then I got up earlier than my alarm, which is 445 or 545 already to get my son off to an early bus. And so for a week, I did it at 5 20 in the morning as a stay-at-home mom running my own business <laughs> but that that week was actually when like I could put all the pieces together and I really started my primer book I really do- dug into the hypnosis so my plan is to do the the second track for probably two weeks and then I'll do the co-creator Um, and what I loved about the co-creator is that like, I, I lost my mom six years ago. So that was really cool when Shannon, because the, the co-creator I found was of my mom's Mm -hmm. wasn't anything that meant anything to her. It was probably a gift from work that was like in this random stuff, but I thought it was really cool. And so when I made that my co-creator, and said that it was my mom's and Shannon was like, well, like our co-creators are like, it's a team and it's of people who we've lost. And, and I thought, oh my God, that was like even more, um, Mm -hmm. just reaffirming to me the steps that I've taken that have led me up till now. 